Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a very quick unboxing of the Nokia X6, aka Nokia 6.1 Plus. Uh, so this one sits between the Nokia 6 and the Nokia 7 Plus. Uh, very decent spec for the price. You can get these for about 250 euro. Uh, so let's have a look and see what this one has. You can see already that we do have the uh, notch design here. Uh, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I think the processor is the Snapdragon 636, so a bit more higher end than the uh, Nokia 6, and also I think also about the same as the Nokia 7 Plus. So let's just uh, get this open here. Uh, bear in mind this is an international model, so. I don't think it's available where I am yet, but hopefully they will bring out a localised version. So let's get it open here. There's the open area. Another one to break. So let's get this one up. There we go. We're into the box. So this is the device as you can see, looking nice and uniform. I just peel this off. Oh, it's got a metallic kind of feel to it. So very uh, light in the hand, you can see we have like glass back here, or it could be plastic, uh, we'll just take this off. So very classy looking design here, uh, you can see we're getting the type C as well, and you can see that uh, it's like the uh, same kind of colour as the Nokia 8 in the uh, blue colour so very uh, nice looking device here no faffing around a typical kind of minimalistic Nokia design you can see you get your Nokia logo on the front there let's have a look at what else you get in the box So charging cable, and obviously the charger, uh, which is Nokia branded as you can see, and that is the output, so about 2 amps I think. You do get a case with it as well, which is nice to see, it's a see through one. A lot of cases coming with phones nowadays, which is good to see. But it looks like you don't actually get any headphone or earphones here in the box. You do get a SIM removal tool. But yeah, it would have been nice to see, you know, at least some basic earphones. But, you know, I think uh, that's where they've cut corners a little bit. Let's have a look at how it looks when you boot on. Is it going to boot on? Yes it is. thought we had a dead battery then. So 19 by 9 Full HD plus screen. Should look very nice with the Android. So we'll just skip through this. So skip, 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 and turn that off. So 
So we have AI technology as well, which is like a glorified, you know, uh, way of saying HDR, if it's for the camera. Let's just be honest. Let's go. Oh, very uh, kind of animalistic, intense wallpaper. Starting off here, and you can see this is what it looks like with the maximum uh, brightness here. So, kind of a stock uh, UI again. That is something which Nokia seems to be doing very good here, keeping it uh, quite basic in terms of the, you know, skin. Uh, so let's just zoom out a little bit here and have a look at the camera so the UI looks quite similar to the other Nokia phones uh, you do get uh, everything that you do expect here so have a look in the settings so you got your live bucket uh, resolution So all those uh, options. Let's have a look at the video settings. And here, yep, yeah, 4K supported, but not 60 frames per second. Uh, but you can't really complain at this price point. Can you turn off that particular notch? That is a good question into the settings so we are running uh, Android 8.1 which is the pretty much latest and the display settings will it allow me to customize uh, probably not actually display size no so most uh, Android handsets with the iPhone 10 look do allow you to turn off the notch. So I don't think you can with this one. Let's just try. No. So you're stuck with the notch with this device. Uh, if that is a deal breaker then do bear that in mind. Uh, but I'm sure you could get used to it, and it looks pretty nice nevertheless, the screen looks good quality, uh, 